Yolanda Renee and today I decided you know I'm super busy today I have so much work to do um, and I know a lot of you are even wondering like what the heck do you do Yolanda do we need lighting should I put some lighting I have absolutely no lighting right now like it's just natural lighting so hopefully it's okay so yeah so today I'm super super busy but I figured you know I'm busy but I know you guys are wondering like what the hell does Yolanda do except record videos <laughs> but I do a lot you guys so today um today's vlog is all about what I do in a day uh, and you know being a freelance artist content creator is a lot of fun but it's a lot of work because you have to be self motivated like seriously you have to be self motivated because you have the freedom to not do anything but you got to do something to stay fresh to stay motivated and all that good stuff and of course to make revenue um so yeah so today you're just going to be hanging out with me the girls of course will be with me in a lot of the um, footage because I stay at home and work and they're at home for summer break um, and you know what the funny thing is I get more done when they are here with me so when I first wake up I of course take a shower that's the first thing I like to do is take a shower so I can then do my hair and makeup because I always want to be ready like you guys always are wondering like why are you always made up but I seriously like being put together um, even if I'm just chilling in a t-shirt like today I just have on a t-shirt and some jeans and flip-flops but I always like my makeup to look fresh wear some simple jewelry and just be ready for the day because again being at home and doing social media I may have to take a picture or I may have to film which I film pretty much every day so I just always want to look nice you know what I mean I usually get some coffee and then that's when I'll start my makeup and then once I'm ready I'll do some social media grinding I'll check emails, do all that kind of um, stuff while the girls are still asleep. Because I get up early, especially now that we have Finn. Finn wakes up at 6.30. Yeah, we're up even before Devin is up now. And of course, I get them up, have breakfast. I usually wait to cook breakfast for them because Taylor likes to help me cook. So get them dressed because they have to be ready too. Because if I'm filming, I want us all to be presentable. Just out of a form of respect. And we just like being girly. <laughs> and as you can see here, I'm answering emails as well. You guys should know Natural Partners in Crime. That's my girl. She keeps me busy um, as far as like projects. So constant income coming in thanks to her. I appreciate her so much. Yeah, emails. Oh my gosh. I use Gmail and that's where I check all my emails. And if you guys are interested or if any brands are watching, if you want to submit any type of um, campaign or project to me, I'll put my email right somewhere up in here. And it's always in the description box as well. I um, monitor my websites, which are um, big, my big cartel store as well as my spread shirt store. That's where I sell my merchandise. And they're two separate things because spread shirt, they do everything for me which that's what I need because you guys customer service is so hard having an online store is so hard if you do not have help especially if you're doing other things so I keep my big cartel site very limited and that's where I sell my dashikis my bamboo earrings my um, chunky gold chain necklaces and whatever else I decide to sell like I will most likely have my paintings on there um, but that's the website that I have to manage and I super suck at managing it um, Thank you guys for being so patient with me with shipping and everything. I really am trying my best So if you order from there, I do have all the earrings in stock. So that shouldn't be a problem 
um, but the daishikis those are pre-order because I do make those as you order them because some people want them plain some people want them with the print and of course I I am not rich <laughs> I can't front the, the cost to get this done before you order so I make them as you order I, and I ship it to you guys so that's why that one is pre-order all I have to do on Spreadshirt is I design using my Photoshop program so whatever design I want I design it myself whether I'm sketching it or just creating it digitally digitally with like different fonts and different graphics or what have you I do all of that from my Photoshop program I'd rather do it that way because I don't want to copy anybody so you know if you use Spreadshirt somebody may use those same graphics that are already loaded on Spreadshirt so I don't like to use those I like to create my own so I have my other computer which is just a big old HP laptop um, that's the first laptop I started using when I started YouTube and I still use it it works it has my Photoshop program on there because now I think Photoshop you can't even buy it I think you have to have like a monthly thing on um, Adobe and it's like $20 a month or more and that's crazy so I'll keep using my old Photoshop program did the lighting just change oh my god upload the designs from my old laptop to Spreadshirt and then I can design I can put those graphics on any type of thing like a t-shirt tank top sweatshirt hat whatever um so yeah so that's what I do I just if I have a design in mind I do it I, I really don't really I don't really have a schedule I just do whatever comes to mind which is a gift and a curse I do schedule my day on my planner you guys remember I showed you guys this planner which is my Heidi um, swab planner today I'm filming actually this video so what I basically do is I already have my month planned here but then I also go to my week and I need to plan out my week so here today's the 26th this video it was supposed to be up today at 9 a.m. but I still had some other footage to get because I didn't finish yesterday. Um, so I basically plan out my day. I know today is all about today's vlog. So um, which is kind of okay because I'm doing what I normally do but I'm just filming it so it just takes a little bit longer. Um, so today I have to go to the post office Staples. I need to go to Starbucks. Ollie's and look for some packaging um, materials so basically I'm going to film some b-roll footage of us going to all these places tomorrow I'm going to be starting our um, school shopping video so go tell Taylor to turn the TV down go Taylor, turn the TV down um, so we're going to start filming that so basically this is like a more detailed look of the day rather than you know on the monthly calendar it's not much space but this is like a general you know plan and it always changes I think I said that in one of my other vlogs it changes sometimes like um, I wanted to start the school shopping video on Friday but I have a photo shoot so I had to change that so here I had to change it here and then school shopping we're just going to start it tomorrow since I'm going to be busy on Friday this thing is bay y'all this is bay do you hear me it's bay I love this thing so I do plan out my day my month but it never goes as planned but it's always good to have a plan and then you can switch it up as you see fit so yeah um, I'll put the link to that planner in the description box but I love it I love it so much Target has some good planners too oh my gosh at first my Target didn't have good ones but I went back and yeah they are bomb first emails I, I don't know if you guys want to know this much detail but I maybe like what kind of emails do you get so as a YouTuber, content creator, influencer, you know, you go through a journey. So when I first started YouTube, I used to just create content. I purchased everything that I use. And honestly, when I first started, it wasn't even focused on what was I using. It was just do the video. But as a YouTuber, you start to 
um, you, sp you start to learn about what your viewers want. So if I posted a video, my viewers would be like, what did you use that time? Or what's that product? Where'd you get it? How much was it? So you get these constant questions over and over. So then you just start to learn from your mistakes. Like, oh, I need to actually show the product and tell them what it is, how much it is, where you bought it, all that good stuff. So a lot, I've noticed that a lot of viewers get so annoyed with YouTubers when they're constantly throwing products at people and using different ones and putting so much emphasis on products but that's where it stems from just as a youtuber you want to be like you want to cover everything you don't want to miss a beat so viewers don't have to ask any you know basic questions of course you're always going to have questions and we love that but as far as the basic questions of what product did you use how much it is all that kind of stuff you want to show that in your videos so um once I started seeing people interested in like what products I was using, then I started highlighting those products more. And then after a while it hit me, I'm like, you know what? Like these products I'm using and people are asking about them, they probably are buying them. And that's not fair. If I am promoting a product organically and that company is profiting off of that, that is not fair. So at the time, I didn't know what I was supposed to do, you know? I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Like, how do I contact these companies to get paid? So I didn't, like, try to pursue any brand. It was just once I started creating the content and, and highlighting those brands, and then, like, I would tweet it or I would post it, you know, on Instagram or whatever I was using at the time, Facebook. Um... And the brands know it is. Like if the numbers are there and if the if the content is good, they know it is. So they started contacting me. So that's how the whole brand sponsorship thing happens. Is at first you post organically, they notice, then they reach out to you. A few times I did fall into the trap of just accepting free products for in exchange for videos or posts. And that's not fair either. And I seriously i am being so serious right now if you're watching this and you're an aspiring youtuber i don't suggest working for free products ever i did that and it's not worth it it's not it's not worth it because again that company is going to make some profit off of your content you're using your time to do it and your time is worth more than some freaking products like i know products can be expensive but girl uh -uh, don't do it and I think that having that integrity and standing firm in that will help YouTubers across the whole YouTube space. We have to say no. We have to say no because if you say no and the next person says yes, of course they're going to keep going to those yes girls. So we have to set a standard. You guys deserve payment for your work. You deserve it. I don't care how many followers you have. You deserve to be compensated for any work that you do for a brand, okay? <laughs> um, so, yeah, so then, you know, eventually once I started saying no and I learned that, oh, I need to get serious about this. I need to have a freaking rate card that has my rates of how much it costs to do a video, to do a post on social media. I mean, every little detail needs to be, you know, in written form. So you can just submit that to them. So if a brand reaches out to you, you can respond very professionally and attach your rate card just so they'll have it on file. Um, so a lot of brands work with PR companies and so they reach out usually and again if they already have your rate card they already know and yes and I also think it's important to be really serious about the business like you need to have contracts contracts are so important because not only is it legally important but also it helps you to stay um organized with what you're expected to do because in the contract it'll stay the deliverables of what you're supposed to do um it'll have your payment schedule in there i always suggest a deposit and then a final deposit once the work is done um 
there's so much I could tell you but yeah so basically my emails are from companies like so many I'm not bragging BTW but it's crazy I have so many emails from brands who want to work with me and you have to say no sometimes seriously you can't say yes all the time because if you're so easily accessible to everyone to me that takes the value down of your work I am just getting too detailed I'll have to make a whole new video on like my tips and everything for aspiring youtubers hopefully you guys are interested though so this is like a cliffhanger because I don't want to get too detailed and make this vlog too long get all over the place but I'm just going to finish answering emails um for a minute and then we are going to head off and go to um do some shopping Oh uh, yeah, before I go, I do want to organize some of the orders I have through Big Cartel. So, on Big Cartel, you can have up to five items, and it's a free account. You can have the name of your item, a description, you can label it as on sale, coming soon, sold out, and then you also have categories. You can put, of course, like tops, bottoms, jewelry, etc. You can also put the price. You can label that as on sale. And then you also have options like for my daishikis, I have a plain daishiki or the printed version like their jersey look. Um, so you can add that. You can add shipping costs. You can add images. You only can do one image for the free account, but you can upgrade to a paid account and you'll have more options like the inventory and all that. After I'm done monitoring my orders on the computer, I will then print them using my Canon, very inexpensive. <laughs> so I print my orders and keep them organized in folders. These are orders that I need to complete from beginning to end. So I'm just going to place these in here. And then on my desk, I have another folder where I've already started processing those orders. For example, my daishikis that I already have sent to my printer. Just waiting for them to get back. But these are the ones I'm going to start working on right now because I have the merchandise in stock. The earrings. So I just go get the merchandise. I put it with the order form. And I double check it make sure I have everything correct. As you can see she ordered some bamboo earrings. I then package it in an envelope and then I weigh it with my scale at home and from Big Cartel you can go to PayPal and print your shipping labels and you can just drop this off at the post office no waiting in line or nothing. I have to ship off these plain dashikis. I already have I already have the printed ones um, in the works and I'm going to be shipping out these this week. So yeah so I'm um, about to print out those orders. I got my plan. I really do need it too because girl my brain is like all over the place right now all right let's see what did we have planned for today yeah so we have to go to the post office after this oh I have to go to my um leasing office too because I have a package so yeah I pick up a lot of packages throughout the day we have to pick up packages um go to the post office I need to go to Walmart and Staples definitely Starbucks run um and we have to shop for some packaging um, so yeah, let's get started. I know you guys are like, girl, this is too much. I don't do all of this every day. If I had to film, which I do have a few packages and I have to schedule a few videos, I wouldn't be doing much of this. And honestly, I don't do this daily. I just have to plan accordingly. But I do a lot as a YouTuber and content creator. The other thing is I may paint, you know, that day i don't paint every day because i go through spurts of wanting to paint and then i just fall off and i just take a second step back and finish painting but i've completed a few now i'm still working on her the one with the turban and the twist and those are done on that side and then the ones that are more white are the ones that i haven't completed um so yeah so depending on how I feel, I will paint. And there's my paint supplies right here. My paint supplies. And there's bigger paint at the bottom. So yeah. And I like doing acrylic paint. It's easier to blend in my opinion. 
oh and then you look you guys i started um purchasing yes purchasing i didn't get anyone to send me these but i've been buying some uh, makeup to swap out all of my other makeup because i want to use all black owned products every day for my everyday look um so i know there's some um back and forth about if black radiance i think is black owned or not i know black opal is but i'm still trying to figure out the black radiance but i'm still going to use it regardless because what i've heard so far is that they're not black owned but black it's like all black staff or something like that i'm not sure and of course i'm filming oh my god this is so funny you guys because this camera is so freaking little but usually this is what i'm doing y'all like i always am filming so even if i'm being even if i'm doing something like emailing i'll still be like holding the camera my arm basically stays like this all day <laughs> yeah for lighting, I use this ring light. I know a lot of people have questions about this ring light because it is a cheaper one. I think it was like $100. It's by the brand Newer. I like it. I have no problems with this ring light. I, um, I think people said some of the reviews say it stops working and all this and that, but I've had no issues with this ring light. Let me turn it on. I don't know if it'll make it turn dark. Here it is, which I know the footage probably looks funny now because usually you have to film the opposite way. But this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like, and I love it. Here is the tripod I use. It's by Albanar. I don't even know how to say it. But yeah, this is the tripod I use, just in case anybody wants to know. Another lighting system that I use. I I actually have two of these and it comes with an umbrella and the stands came with it and I also have a stand for my backdrop that it came with and I'll link that bundle below but it came with two stands for lights and an umbrella and then two stands with a bar for the backdrop and then it came with three backdrops a white one a black one and a green one but those are in storage right now I can't remember if the bundle came with this. I think it did. This is a reflector. And one side is white. Uh, one side is white. And then one side is gold. And it really does a good job with reflecting. As you can see when I have it on the white side, everything here looks brighter. But then when you use the gold reflector, it gives it kind of like a gold tint to it. Final Cut Pro to edit my videos. This is the video I'm editing today, actually. And just briefly, um, what I do initially is I pull, so these are all the original clips over here. These are all the original clips on this side. And I go through and actually watch the whole clip. And whatever I wanna keep, hit Q to actually bring it down to the main timeline. So this is all your this is all your original footage here and this is all the cut edited fitted footage that you want in your video. All right, I look absolutely insane, but whatever. <laughs> we just got to roll with it. So here this button here, I can hit show color board. So I go through each one and change the colors cuz this one is too bright. So I just change the um adjustment I can make it more yellow have a more blue tint in there saturation all right that color is okay but yeah so that color looks so much better than before <laughs> And you'll see the original color in a second. See, that's the original color. So that's the original color. You see how light that is? And then that's how dark I made it. But you get the idea. Just editing. Look at Finn. He's so cute. Look at him. Oh, 
too soft to you have. <laughs> really? This is literally how he sleeps. And um, we are using a crate, but we don't. We're not strict about it. We always keep it open. We want him to want to be in there, so we always leave it open. And he loves it. We don't use it as a punishment unless he does something really bad, and that's when we do close the door. And I think he knows the difference. Oh, RPG. RPG, email me. Let's see. Lot of body. Culver's. What's Culver's? Yeah, there's so much. Oh, what's that high pair? And this is my workspace. It's right in my living room. This is my backdrop and workspace. So I just have that, that, that little shelving unit came from Ikea, from Home Goods, Hobby Lobby. These are from Home Depot. The little L-shaped hangers are from Walmart, but I spray painted them gold. And those are from Walmart as well. These little green plants here are from um, roses. Those two candles are from those two candles are from Hobby, you no know, Home Goods. And that little guy is from Target. That male unit down there is from Home Goods. Those two boxes, gold boxes at the bottom, are from Marshalls, I think. I can't rem I think that is from um, Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. These cute pencils here are from Target. I love those. Those scissors are from Hobby Lobby. This guy is from Marshalls or Roses. I can't remember. I think it is Marshalls. Marshalls. This lamp is actually from Hobby Lobby. I swear it was only like $18.99 or something crazy. But it's sold at Hobby Lobby and it's like $89.99. It is so crazy. Um, and you guys always ask about this gold mirror. The same deal, the same deal with this mirror. I got this mirror from Target and it was silver and there is a, a light in there as well. I got it from Target but I spray painted it gold and I got the gold spray paint from Walmart and the same thing with that little candle holder. I spray painted that. All right, let's go. Because th today is like so crazy. So yeah, we just left um, our leasing office. I had some packages. So yeah. Now we're headed to... Where are we going first? Supposed to... Starbucks. Oh yeah, it's all right. All right, you need to sit back and put your okay. seatbelt on. I can't wait to see what it is. I kind of think that it might be that... Um, Oh no, that's true. Laundry. And this is, I think, Finn's thing. Oh, I'm about to open it. So I use the Starbucks app, y'all. I don't really get Starbucks that much anymore, especially since my whole shop black lifestyle. But we decided to come here today. Freaking hot. I have a green tea frap, it's so good. And Finn's in there, sleeping. Look, him look. What? Did you see that look? Mm -hmm. Marshmallow Green Bar with a, a vanilla bean. Frat. I have no idea who the Oh We just got back from Starbucks. I'll eat in there. Oh god, go plug it back up. What? Come here. He must like it. Leave him alone. He staying in? So yeah, got this from Amazon and I'll put a link to it below. I know what I should do. I could put a little fur keychain. I'm gonna put this little faux fur chain on here, even though it's silver. It's, the, it's <gasps> oh, that's prettier. Look, than, that's prettier than the 
than the ones that we saw. Look, Finn can get in here, look. Oh we can roll God. this up and then Oh, he has a little window. It's a little window that rolls up. To go. This is going to be the end of this vlog cuz I have some editing to do and some more emails. Hey, you can hurt your oh, Janelle. Um, but in a nutshell, oh my god, my face is like melting. It's so hot outside. It's like 98 degrees outside. Um, but um, in a nutshell, if you're wondering what I do for work, it's a plethora of things. I would say that working from home and for yourself is the most difficult thing ever because while you're at home, you know, in the comfort of your home and you're your own boss, there's so much room to waste time basically because I work all the time. So working so much kind of throws your home life out of whack and then when you try to compensate and do more home stuff then it throws your work out of whack so it's always a constant battle and I've come to the conclusion that you cannot master it like you just have to compensate like you just have to work it out and it's going to be times where you think you figured it out and then you're going to fall off so the best way to look at it is don't stress about it like you'll it'll work out so I mean I know a lot of my blogger friends they really stress about it like if you guys know B Wade she's a makeup artist but she also does YouTube and so many other projects like celebrity makeup and all that she constantly beats herself up about not being able to balance home and work and I just tell her like it's an impossible task so don't beat yourself up about it like some days you'll get it some days you won't yeah so I don't know so a typical, just to recap, a typical day for me is answering emails, designing t-shirts, or any type of merchandise, I'm following up on coloring books. I have Eden Body Works, they constantly order, they constantly stock up on my coloring books, which I really appreciate. They usually use my coloring books for all their kid events to help promote their kids line. I'm editing videos, filming videos, promoting yeah. those. So yeah, it's a lot of work and a lot of possibilities. Um, like I already have a few emails like um, for events. Event appearances are a big part of being a YouTuber or content creator. A lot of brands want to hire you to come to huge events or even event coordinators. Um, for example, the New Orleans Natural Hair Expo, which I had a vlog about that not too long ago. and. Um, they plan a year in advance and she's already ready to book me for 2017 so I have to answer those emails I have another Walmart event that which is with Walmart um, they want me to come to Atlanta in August like August 3rd I think so I have to answer that so yeah there's so many different aspects of being a content creator and I love it sorry if you guys hear Taylor Scott they're over there on their computers but I love every minute of it. Don't get me wrong. I love every minute of it. But it can be stressful. I love the freedom. And yeah. And the pay is good. I know it's tack. Sometimes I feel like it's tacky to talk about pay. But also when you don't talk about it, then people are wondering. So it's hard to find that middle ground of talking about pay. Um, so I'm not going to give too much information. I'll just stay in the middle. The pay is amazing and you can you can basically control how much you're being paid. Um, you have your rate card in place and you can actually sit down and say I'm going to make this much this week and you can make it happen especially if you have relationships with different brands because you can easily do at least two to three videos per week if you wanted to. I wanted to make this amount of money in a week I could but I don't and I do that because I would be like crazy busy I would be stressed out the content wouldn't be as great um 
so I really do pace myself, but I make sure that I make a certain amount of month, a um, certain amount per month. And um, yeah, <laughs> but I definitely make enough to pay bills, to have extra money to save. And it's amazing. And I wish that for everybody, even if you have to work a nine to five, if you want to get into blogging, YouTubers, I mean, YouTube or owning your own online shop, whether you're selling paintings or merchandise or whatever, I say go for it. Like what is stopping you? Just do it because even if you're doing it on the side, if you just keep working at it and never stop, if you just never stop, you will be successful. There's nothing that can make you, to me, there's nothing that can make you just stay in the same position or, you know, go downhill as long as you keep it up. Because if you're smart, you're going to learn along the way to better yourself. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys take something away from this. Just know, whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. It may take some time, but you can do it. And there's people out there that can help you make that come true if you don't have the skills to do it. And I know it's really hard to trust other people or to even ask for help, but definitely just ask. Yes, I can. You want to say hi? I'm going to go now. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Another Yolanda takeover, basically. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but tomorrow, I think we're going to film the school shopping. So that should be interesting. That should be fun. And that will be up, I guess, on Friday? What's today? No, what's it? Thursday. Today's, Today's Tuesday. Yeah, but I'm putting up this vlog today. So I don't put one up on Wednesday, so on Thursday. Uh -oh. Yeah. And then Friday I have a photo yeah. shoot and I'll oh be filming dear. that as well. Can I come with you? Yeah, we're all going. Yay! We'll probably yeah. film our intro too. Yeah. So where are you going? Tell go? come on. In DC. What do you mean? Oh. The photo shoot? Yeah. The photo shoot is in DC. Oh. Alright, I'll see you guys. to medieval times one time and I forgot to well I vlogged some but the lighting was really bad so we didn't post that vlog but that was fun so the girls have it in their room